we are back with the massive wealth series and this time it is the most important planet as per Jaimini Rishi. Jaimini Astrology, it is none other than the Amatya Karak. So, 10 massive wealth indications only using the Amatya Karak. The Amatya Karak is the planet with the second highest degree. The first, the highest degree planet is the Atma Karak and this is the Amatya Karak. So, Atma Karak is like the king and Amatya Karak is like the minister. So therefore, it means Amatya Karak is like a person who helps you in your profession, which also means it can indicate what you can be good at, where are your challenges, where, where what kind of opportunities you can find and where you could also find potential challenges. But nonetheless, it shows us things where we can capitalize. Okay, so therefore, see the planet with a second highest degree and if you have these combinations, then most likely you can earn massive wealth. There are indications of numerology here, astrology and dashas and transits, everything, all right? So, number one, but before we begin, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the thumbs up and watch the massive wealth videos on uh, about other planets also. And for personalized consultations, you can always go to my website down in the description section. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him. And if you wish to personally consult with me, in New Delhi, then I'll be there from 24th of December to uh, 24th November. So from 25th, I'll be available uh, till 2nd of December for 8 days. And Guwahati from 10th December to 10th of January next year. So if you wish to consult me personally, then please send an email at exoticastrology at the rate gmail.com. All right. Thank you so much. Now, the first most important indication this is a very, very powerful combination. This is the conjunction of the Atma Karak and the Amatya Karak. So, your Atma Karak and Amatya Karak, they are sitting together anywhere in the chart. But preferably, they should be in a good place. But nonetheless, <coughs> even if they are not well placed or even if they are in Dustana houses like 6, 8, 12, but if they are conjunct together, then this is a fantastic placement because this shows you have good direction in life or even if you are headless and confused, somebody comes and give you, gives you the right information and you can move ahead in your career. This is a fantastic placement and this is almost like a Rajiva that I have seen working in the horoscopes. Okay, so if you have this, then don't worry. Take one thing and finish it. Take one thing and completely work on it till it is completely done and dusted and you will see success is coming to you of course when the right dasha and right transits come okay that's that is also something that we discuss dashas and transits are also very important but in general if you have this you can have a good vision uh in life you know about your profession what do you want to do how do you want to be known as so therefore if you have this then and if your overall chart is strong enough it is recommended you be a freelancer or you know self-employed or uh, yeah you can have your own business okay but uh, this alone may not indicate all this but if you have a good chart strong chart and you have this then thumbs up go and have your own business okay you may not leave your job tomorrow morning but you can do it sideways and eventually when your uh, business income uh, crosses your job income you can go and uh, have your uh, own business okay number two amatya karaka well placed in the kendra kendra means one four seven ten so if amatya karak is in one of the four houses and well placed what, what does it mean by well placed well placed means it is either exalted in mool tricor or in own sign or friend sign okay <laughs> so if it is in one of these four situations and in one of these four houses both have to be there simultaneously then also it can indicate massive wealth i'll tell you the reason why suppose amatya karak is in the 10th house then of course it's a great place but suppose it is in the 4th house then it is aspecting the 10th house or suppose it is in lakna it's a great place when add suppose it is in the 7th then it is aspecting the lagna. okay then also it is a great placement because if the lagna and the 10th are somehow associated with the amatya karak it's great of course, somebody may argue that, you know, in Gemini, we take uh, sign-based aspects. We do not take, you know, <laughs> planetary aspects. But if you try to see from Parashar, you know, even as a planet, it is still aspecting. So it can, uh, it may not be the best, like, you know, from 4th and 7th, although it is aspecting the 1st and 10th by Gemini aspects, it may not aspect unless, you know, the planet is in a, a dual sign because 
if your um, if your lagna is either gemini sagittarius virgo or pisces then uh, they will aspect all the other dwell signs okay but nonetheless it is still not a bad thing to have it in the fourth or seventh and if you have it in the first or tenth along with a good sign you know like if it is exalted best okay mm -hmm. then fantastic it shows opportunities will keep coming to you in your profession okay that that's a very good thing to have number three atmak amatya karak exalted anywhere but not in the sixth eighth twelve so suppose your amatya karak is not in the kendra but it is you know in the second third fifth or you know uh, ninth or eleventh <clears throat> then also this is a fantastic position this shows that you may need some time to uh, bring the things to your life with hard work and perseverance and tolerance and patience but it will come to you eventually but if this is there in a dusthana it can still work but it will come with a lot of efforts and hard work and you might also lose a lot of money okay so if this is coming uh, if uh, your amatya karak is exalted but it is in a dusthana like 6 8 12 it can still work, but uh, yeah, it is not as uh, it. It's not a position to be uh, sought of, sought after. Okay, so therefore, if it is not in Kendra, no, nor is it in a Dustana, but it is exalted, it can show through hard work. You can earn a lot of money, especially if it is in the second or eleventh. It is also a fantastic position. Number four, if the Amatya Karak is conjunct with the tenth lot, phenomenal placement, one of the best placements. So suppose you are, no, uh, you are you know a Leo Lagna, and your tenth lord is Venus, and then your Amatya Karak is suppose a uh, Sun. Okay, Sun is the planet with the second highest degree. It is conjunct Venus. This is a fantastic placement because then it shows. See, the tenth lord will show your career opportunities. What kind of opportunities you will get? So when the Amatya Karak is with the tenth lord, it can show that. You are always getting things uh, where you are good at. So your skills are like compounding and magnifying. So it's a fantastic thing to have. This is one of the best placements in my opinion. So if you have this, just work hard. Do what do what you think is best according to you. And you will be very successful in life. Okay. okay. Number five. If the Amatya Karaka is in the Lagna of the Navamsha. This shows you are by nature gifted in those talents. Like, for example, if your Amatya Karak is, you know, uh, like any planet, you know, Amatya Karak is Venus. Okay, so then your Venus is in the Navamsha Lagna. Then this shows you have the traits related to Venus, you know, like uh, it could be anything. You can see the series with Vishti Larsen, which I have in my channel on Navamsha. Any planet in the Navamsha trine shows the talents related to that planet are naturally bestowed. Okay, so now... You can use these talents in your profession, provided you make it a full-time business. Otherwise, you know, you may do something else also. That's okay. But, or that could be like a side business or a side hobby, okay? But nonetheless, this is a fantastic thing. You are naturally gifted, okay? This is brilliant. You don't have to do much. Just do what is needed and you will be successful. Next, Amatya Karaka in the Lagna of the D10, Asham Shachar. Okay, if... The Amatya Karaka is in the 10th house, in, in the Lagna, the first house of your Dashamsha chart, which is again the chart of profession. <clears throat> then you know what you want to do in life. So there is clear cut goals and you know what you should and what you should not, where you are good, where you are not good. So you will automatically go away from things that do not serve your best interests in your profession and you will go and do things which are best for you. So if you have this, congratulations, you are very lucky, you you will do very good, all right? Number seven, if the Amatya Karaka is in the 10th house from the Atma Karak, so suppose your Atma Karak is any planet, is placed in Aries, anywhere in the chart, okay? And 10th from Aries is Capricorn. So now your Amatya Karak is in Capricorn, okay? Or your Atma Karak is in Taurus, Amatya Karak is in Aquarius, something like that. 10 from the Atma Karak, your Amatya Karak is placed. This is fantastic. This is one of the best placements. Uh, this placement can actually bestow you, you know, a lot of name, fame, power, position, authority. It can show exceptional leadership skills. So if you have this, congratulations, you are lucky and take leadership positions and you will be very successful. Number 8. 
Amatta Karaka itself is your destiny number. What does this mean? Destiny number is the sum of your entire date of birth. So, suppose you are born on uh, 17 September 1950. This is Prime Minister Modiji's date of birth. I am just giving an example. So, if you add the date, date of birth, uh, totally it comes to 5. Okay. So, now, <coughs> if Mercury is your Amatta Karak also, okay, then this, uh, because number 5 in numerology is Mercury. So, therefore, in numerology, 5 is your destiny number and in astrology, this same Mercury represents uh, your Amatya Karak. This is phenomenal because <coughs> the destiny number tells you how you can earn money, what you are good at, you know, what, what are the things you can do, especially after marriage or after the age of 30. So, if your <laughs> Amatya Kara is also the destiny number, then it means you can focus exclusively on that area and you can earn a lot of money. So, if Venus is your Amatya Kara and you know your destiny number, you add your full date of birth, it counts to 6. <laughs> then you can go into you know creativity sector, you know, like uh, arts, media and all this, okay? Fashion, that will be fantastic. Now, even if uh, they are not same, you can still go. Suppose your destiny number is 6, you can still go into a uh, fashion showbiz and all this. But along with that, if your Amatya Karak is also Venus, that's like brilliant. Or if your destiny number is 6 and your Amatya Karak is any planet, but it is in the signs of Venus, like, you know, your Amatya Karak is maybe Sun and it is placed in Taurus or Libra. Then also this can work to some extent, All right, This is this is a brilliant thing to have. Now, number nine may be the most important or equally important. Number nine is your Amatya Karaka is good, but the Amatya Karak's Mahadasha comes in your 20s and 30s because then you will get that high in life and you you will have a very above average life and you know, you will, uh, you will, even if you don't uh, grow further after the Mahadasha ends, but <clears throat> your life would have permanently changed and you know, you will have a lot of luxuries and a lot of name fame basically. Okay, but again, uh, the, for this, the condition is, it's not just that, you know, your Amatya Garak is, you know, uh, Venus and uh, Venus Dasha comes so it's not like that. Your Amatya Karak should be well placed as per the parameters that we discuss. The more the better. And then the dasha comes in your 20s, 30s. Even if you get it in your 40s, 50s, 60s, it's still fine. But you know, you can't enjoy much, right? If it comes in 50s or 60s, you know. And so, so best is suppose your Amatya Karak is, you know, like sun. And you know, your sun dasha comes when you are like, you know, 20 years old. Then imagine, you know, by 26, you are like very, very, very successful. And if you don't screw it up later, you will have that level of luxury in your life, right? And last but not the least, a good Amatya Karak and prominent planets transiting over the Amatya Karak, like, you know, Jupiter, Saturn, Rahu in transit. So, suppose your uh, Amatya Karak is in Pisces and it is well placed. So, now 29th March 2025, Saturn will transit. So, if Saturn transits or, you know, your Amatya Karak is in Gemini, well placed and next year, May, I think Jupiter will transit in Gemini or something. Uh, so, <laughs> then you can expect wealth to come in because Jupiter, Saturn, Rahu, they will especially bring wealth for long term. Okay, so these are brilliant things to have. Uh, but of course, for the ninth and the 10th point transits and dashas, you need to check your Amatya Karak. So, for example, now, if your Amatya Karak is not well placed, uh, but it is, you know, placed in the sign of Pisces and Saturn is transiting over there. Maybe nothing happens, okay? Or maybe something happens, okay? Not too, not too great. So, therefore, the, please see your Sun, Moon, Lagna Lord, your 10th house, 10th Lord, Navamsha, Dashamsha and your Amatya Karak. And that is how you will exactly know what's going on in your profession, all right? Thank you so much for your attention and don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed this content and subscribe to the channel if you're new. For personalized online consultations, you can always visit my website down in the description section. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him. Jai Siaram.